Hi everyone, my name is Antonio and I'm on the customer success team here at Eventbrite. Today I'll be showing you how to leverage functionality within Eventbrite to process bulk refunds of Eventbrite payment processed orders. We'll cover a few topics in this video. I'll provide some examples and use cases of how to use this functionality, how to process bulk refunds within an event, and then answer some of your frequently asked questions. Let's get started. What are some of the use cases and why I'd need to bulk refund my attendees? I'm glad you asked. The first example is actually pretty obvious. It's for a canceled event. If your event is no longer happening, you have an obligation to refund attendees for not receiving that service, experience, or product that you were providing. Otherwise, you can offer what we define as a make good. Which leads me to example number two, postponing an event. You may be wondering what I meant by a make good offer or the obligation to refund attendees. Well, sometimes in order to make good with your attendees, the best course of action may be to go ahead and refund attendees and once you have a new date set, allow your attendees to decide if they can participate in the future event. So, leveraging this functionality, you can refund all attendees in bulk. A few items to note about bulk refunds. This functionality only allows for refunds to be processed in whole. At this time, we don't offer the opportunity to partially refund or only refund specific orders in bulk at this time. Bulk refunds are only available to those events who are utilizing Eventbrite Payment Processing, also known as EPP. The option to process refunds in bulk will only appear if there are enough funds in the event to process all refunds. Now I'm going to show you where to find the option to bulk refund within the Eventbrite platform and how to initiate the process. A really important note is that once you start the process of bulk refunding all orders within an event, there is no going back. Be sure that this is the right course of action that you'd like to take by refunding all of the orders in your event in bulk. I've already located the event that I'd like to refund my attendees in bulk. You'll notice that my net sales are $4,700, and you'll also notice that my payout that's available is $4,700. This is a way to verify that I have enough funds in my event to refund every online or Eventbrite payment processed order. There are multiple ways that you can start processing refunds in bulk. The first one is if you have this guide up top that allows you to offer refunds, particularly if the event is marked as postponed, I can go ahead and press this go button. Or another option is to go to Manage Attendees, then click on Orders, which I'm going to do now. Once I've reached the Orders report, you'll notice a big orange button that says Issue Multiple Refunds. Again, this option will only appear if you have enough funds in order to, re to refund everyone. So in this case, I'm going to press Issue Multiple Refunds. Now you'll see that I have five orders that are remaining to be refunded for this particular event. I can press the Get Started button, and then there's a final reminder that this is the course of action that I like to take. So as soon as I press Issue Refund, it's going to go ahead and start the process, which I'll do now. Once you've initiated the process to bulk refund your attendees, you'll be brought to this confirmation page. You'll notice that it says that it's in progress and that you have multiple refunds that are processing and that you need to refresh the page anytime that you see changes. Uh, the process will work in the background. And then once it's completed, you can visit your event dashboard and you'll notice that you have no more attendees that you need to refund. Before letting you go, I want to cover some frequently asked questions about bulk refunds. Can I issue multiple refunds if my event uses PayPal or Authorize.net for payment processing? No. Unfortunately, this feature is only available for those events who are utilizing Eventbrite payment processing. How do I know which orders were refunded? You can go to your orders report, then change the order type to refunded slash canceled to see all fully refunded orders. This includes manually refunded orders as well. Can I bulk refund some orders instead of all? or only bulk refund a partial amount? Not at this time. I don't have enough funds to process bulk refunds or I've already received a payout. How do I process bulk refunds? Glad you asked. There are a few options that are available to you. You can use a backup funding source, a credit card, to process one-off refunds, but again, this is a one-by-one -one basis. You can use the new pay-in functionality. There's more information about that on our website. You can refund offline outside of Eventbrite, or you can wire back funds to Eventbrite to process refunds. You can reach out to your account manager or reach out to us on our website. Is this functionality available to bulk refund offline orders? Not at this time. If you're wondering what offline orders are, they're completed either at the door, via our organizer app, or the attendee selected to pay via check, invoice, or pay at the event. Can I send a customized refund message to attendees before bulk refunding them? Yes. You can utilize our email to attendees tool under the manage attendees option within your event. This should be completed prior to processing the bulk refund. 
When I complete a bulk refund, will my attendees receive an email that the order has been refunded? Yes, the buyer and the attendees will receive an email confirming their refund. Will I, as the organizer, receive an email for each refund completed? No, but you can view this information under the orders report like I talked about before. I mistakenly refunded all of my orders. Can that be undone? No, unfortunately, once we've started the process, there is no way to undo a bulk refund. For more information and further how-tos, be sure to visit our help center, www.eventbrite.com support. Thanks, everyone.